Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. This is quest number five. This is the big quest. Since the last quest, I played in a title Tuesday. As you can see, my rating has jumped quite significantly. We're back up very close to 2800. I have studied a lot of openings. There are still some gaps in my time enough knowledge, a few gaps in my Dutch, but on the whole, I am a lot more confident in my openings than I was before. I hope to be able to hit 2850 today. I have to approach this with unbelievable humil humility. I can't, I can't get lost in the sauce as I always do. My rating goes up, I get excited. I start acting like everything is gonna be simple. Okay, I've studied this. Queen of three, queen of three, I've not studied. I've not studied this at all. Um, I'm gonna play knight e7 though. I really, I don't know what the right move is here. <laughs> I haven't gotten to this chapter in the book yet, guys. That's how these quests have to go. Um, just in the beginning, there's gonna be a lot of, of openings I don't really know. This might have been a mistake, honestly. Um, we'll put the bishop on b4. Ooh, knight a4. Ew. Knight a4. This is a gross position, honestly. Okay, no knight a4. Knight, no knight a4, I'm happy. I am a happy camper if no knight a4. Knight a4 to b6, that would have been a disaster. That would have been a mitigated disaster. Okay, a4... Uh, I'm not so concerned about that right now. Yeah, this knight is really ugly, though. Let me put this here. He could take, but then I'm gonna have rook a8 stuff. Or rook a1 stuff, sorry. Not rook a8. Let's put the knight on c4. Yeah, this is wacky, isn't it? This is some wacky business. How am I going to fix this bishop? I'll play d6. I'm going to put this bishop on d7. If he takes, takes... Okay, yeah, finally he's doing that. Um, I think I have to play rook v8 now. It's not ideal, but... Yeah, everything is held back for the moment. You know, these pieces are quite good here. But the problem is that my pawn is overextended. b3, okay. Where could the knight go? Let's move the knight back here. If f4, I can just keep digging in with knight g4. This is some very wacky stuff here. Okay, knight a2. I could play bishop a3 or bishop c... Yeah, bishop c5 looks good. We trade knight c3, I play b4. Alright, he's going that way. Interesting. Let me take... Put my bishop on d7. I think now, yeah, I've survived the worst of it. There's really no problem here. I'm going to play king e7. He wants to play f4, obviously. Let me play b4. Is b4 correct now or later? b4 makes this knight complete. Yeah, let's just do it now. This knight is complete doo-doo. It's complete trash. King e7. What's he going to do? Knight c1, knight d3. Okay, let me play rook b7. Defending this, gonna shift my rook over. Yeah, this this looks very interesting. I do not want to take here yet, though, because okay, that's good. Now, now I have a pawn defending this. If the pawn was on d6, this would have been weak. All right, and my knight is going to shift in. My knight is going to shift gears into d4. Okay, I could do this. If he takes, I take with... Uh, should I take with the king or the rook? I take with the king. c3 is interesting. c3 probably should be played. Oh, he's taking. Oh, that's, in, that's also interesting. Um, 
Yeah, I just did not consider that at all. But I really, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really sure if I should be so concerned about this position. His pawns are very far away from getting active. And as, as soon as he plays c4, then my rooks can invade on the, the d-file. My rooks are getting super active here. You always got to measure these positions where you've taken the exchange by the help of the rooks. Let's play f6. If c5, I can play rook d7. My rooks are getting in. He could take, yeah, he's gotten three pawns, but my rooks are finally getting in. I'm going to check and play rook g1 and start snacking. Check is already going to be a little uncomfortable. King b4, I think I, I throw in another check. Okay, if he goes that way, well, his king isn't going to be anywhere close to... <laughs> this is a really wacky position, honestly. Let's. I want to push his king out. I do not want him to be able to push his pawns. So let me take. Rook b8 is a big threat now. Let me just throw this pawn forward. His pieces are actually nowhere close to, to protecting that pawn. The pawn is going to keep running. <laughs> the pawn doesn't stop. Um, Alright, let, yeah, let me just keep pushing. Takes, takes. <laughs> Rookie 8 attacking these two. If he takes... All right, and his his knight is completely trapped here. Oh, I got to play quickly. Oh, I lost. I lost on time, but okay, at least I didn't Yeah, I got to manage my time better. I got too lost in the sauce. That's what's all. That's what always happens here. I always get too excited, and I always focus way too much on the the immediate decisions. I just need to play much quicker. Finishing up a really black Paraguayan coffee here. We got an Alapin Sicilian. This is really, really classic. Knight e5. Yeah, wait, what am I supposed to play here? Maybe this, yeah, maybe this was already a slight mistake. This should be five transposes. This should be seven castles. Yeah, this cannot be bad for me. My bishop is going to get to a6. It's a little bit ugly at the moment, but everything will get out. He's playing bishop h6. I don't really see what the problem is, though. Bishop h6, I play bishop f6. e5 is going to be a problem. e5 is becoming a big threat. Alright, I'm going to play e5 now. He gave me enough time to do it. Knight takes f6, big idea. Let me play bishop f5. Takes, I just take. Ooh, bishop g5 could be annoying. Yeah, bishop g5 could be annoying. c5, I'm going to play c4. Castle this bishop. Uh-oh, my queen is nearly trapped here. Look at that. I didn't... I had no idea. Bishop d1 traps my queen, I think. Wow. Yeah, don't don't tell me I'm going to lose this way. Alright, I'm, I'm not resigning. I'm not resigning. you got to fight these positions on. He's already down a minute. H5, yeah, I'm, I'm obviously completely lost here, but, uh, you know, it's not over yet. It is not over until the fat lady sings. Let's take with the bishop. I'm 
I'm to play knight d7. <laughs> this is a very, very bad position. I think bishop g4 wins on the spot. Okay, no bishop g4. He's just going for that. Uh... <laughs> Let me play rook f8. I'm going to play f6. I'm just, I'm holding on for dear life here. Bishop g4, I have f5. I'm desperately trying to hold on here. All right. this It's not good. I never said it was good. <laughs> I never said it was good, but it's holding. It's, um, this bishop, oh, this bishop check is so dangerous. There's literally almost nothing for me to do here. This is such a bad position. I think knight b6, I'm just, I'm desperately, I'm just gripping the, 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 the rail of the roller coaster, just so desperately trying to hold on here. This is what builds character, though, honestly, if I could say so. Um, I'll play rook c7. If he takes, I take. If he wants to take, he can take. He's taken there. All right, I'll play king f8. Oh, okay, that's mate. All right. I did my best, guys. What can I say? I got him a minute down. Yeah, going forward, I'm going to need to study the elephant more. I haven't been studying the Alepin yet. Alright, we got a bird. Let's play bishop b5. Okay, gave him the bad pawns. That's supposed to be a big error. Yeah, this is already supposed to be much, much better for me. d3, knight d2, knight f3. If he takes, I just take. Okay, if he does that, um, what was the plan here? I think I'm supposed to play for e4. I haven't seen these positions before. a5, a4, that could be a little annoying, honestly. Um, if I play a4, yeah, I'll play a4. Screw it. I'll play bishop c3. I can always reinforce with rook b1. How am I, I? How can I defend this pawn in a healthy way, though? That is the big question. Let me play queen c2. Bishop comes to c3. Yeah, he's always going to be tied to this. I don't really need to worry here. Let me play... Where should this knight go? This knight should shift here. All right, so let's play king h1, knight g1, knight h3, knight f4. Okay, he's going that way. That's interesting. I'm going to play e4. Really, really wacky stuff here. Maybe he takes, takes, ooh, takes, takes, bishop g6 is going to be a bit uncomfortable. I'm going to take there. Yeah, I think I misplayed this. Um, I hate to say it, y'all. I think I misplayed this. I'm going to go for a really quick attack with queen f2. I completely misplayed this. I'm going for some attack here. If I can at least take, then I might have something. Yeah, this knight g1 move was not good. I'm really looking forward to looking looking at this with the computer. I have some practical chances here, but it's it's looking pretty bad, honestly. Okay, queen... You know, I, I said it's looking pretty bad, but it might be looking pretty good. We got some tricks. I have at least a draw here. At least a draw. Let me check. Let's ask him what he's doing here. If he wants to go to h7, okay, he's going that way. I was hoping he would say that, honestly. Um. Hmm. I can keep checking. All right, yeah, now he should be losing. Now he should be losing. E6, bishop g5 is a huge threat with e7. How am I going to bring my knight in? That's the big question. Obviously, I have enormous play here. Um, let me play knight f3. I like knight f3 a lot. I'm just holding this pawn back. My bishop covers 
An enormous amount of territory. I think, yeah, his queen can't really move, right? If his queen tries to get active, I mate. So I'm just going to throw my pawn up the board. That should be the straw that breaks the camel's back here. Rook e7. He's just not really doing anything, though, with that move. I guess he could play queen d6 next, but... Let's throw in a check. Which way is he going to go? Okay, takes, takes... Bishop f4, knight g5 better, or just takes the knight g5? Let's play h4 first. If he plays queen d6, then I'll chop. There's no need to cash out just yet. Never do what your opponent wants to do. Wants you to do. I have to play quickly, though. Look at my time. Um, Alright, h5. h6 is going to be a real bummer. Queen e5, okay, I'm checking. Yeah, I'm completely winning. I'm going to get snacking. Look at that. I got snacking. I'm continuing to get snacking. Let me just check here. Get rid of the queen. Yeah, that, I don't know. what. 15 seconds is definitely enough for this. All right. I want to look at that game. That was a crazy game. I definitely did something wrong there. I had an advantage. Yeah, early on, I definitely have an advantage here. Then I misplay this. Knight f3. What am I supposed to do here? Knight d2 is a mistake. you got to be kidding me. Oh, am I supposed to play knight c3, knight a4? Is that the idea? Yeah, knight c3, knight a4. That's a classic idea here. Chess.com! Chess.com, what have you done? Alright. Chess.com, come on. Come on, Chess.com. Oh, chess.com. I've gotten this position several times at this point. Yeah, knight c3. Knight c3, you put the knight on a4. That's the classic idea. Knight a4, this pawn is going to be weak. We can play rook c1 and threaten to, to chop on d5. Open everything up. Knight d2, so f6 is a mistake. Yeah, a5... Okay, a5. I'm I'm starting to learn this things though. Like a lot of the really basic things in these openings are completely uh, built into my DNA at this point. But these these deeper middle game ideas, I still mix up a lot. Knight d2, f6. What am I supposed to do here? Takes, bishop takes, takes, rook takes, and queen h5. Look at that. Yeah, that makes so much sense. Look at how weak this square is. I'm gonna play knight f3, knight e5. This bishop is complete garbage here. It's blocked by this. It's also blocked by this. All right. Now I know. Let's keep going. Back up to 2783. I need to keep a bird counter somewhere on the bottom. I think my bird score is unbelievably good. And it's only getting better week by week. I think I'm scoring like 80% with the bird now. It's really, uh, it's an incredible, it's an incredible system. It's one for the ages. Yeah, what could what could happen now? Waiting on chess.com to load. I'm starving, honestly. I have some wings left over from the other night. I might I might go and devour them after this. We're how many minutes in? Only 20 minutes in? We're only 20 minutes in. <laughs> We're only 20 minutes in of a two-hour thing, and I'm already... I'm already drooling over the wings. I can only click the refresh button so many times. I don't know what to tell y'all. I'll have to get a pen and, and mark... I got a mark on my sheet that, uh, yeah, what is the, um, what is this? This is 20 minutes.
All right, here we are. Oh, against Pavel again. All right, let's try to get him this time. Okay, so here we play knight c3, e4. Yeah, he thinks I don't know this. Actually, I forgot what to do here. I think I'm supposed to play queen e2. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot this. He's supposed to play d5 here. Wait, no, no, d5 here, or he's already worse, because d5... All right, here, e5. He thinks I'm not going to know what to do here? I was born in this. If he takes, we take with the d pawn. We play bishop e3, castle queenside. This is very, very good. Yeah, so many of these, you know, these, these modern systems. I have no idea what that is. I guess he's playing h3, knight h6, and... Yeah, this can't be good. I'm just gonna... I'll put his knight in the cage. If he takes, I take back. I'm gonna play bishop g2 next. No issues here. I'm playing d4. Beautiful center. Completely beautiful center here. Um, If I take... If he takes with rook, I play g5. Which would be good. If he takes with queen, I can also play g5. Uh, I don't know, though. Yeah, let's just play d4. No need to confuse things. He really has nothing to do here. Knight f7, okay, bishop d2. Should I play bishop d2 or bishop e3? I'll check in the game review. I really, I can't be, I can't be wasting my time on these, these very simple, these very simple trifles. You can't be trifling out here. All right, I, I gotta watch out for this. That right, there are some tricks there. Yeah, he's gonna play knight c six now. The sneaky guy, of course, of course. He wants, yeah, he wants to win some material here. Um, let's just get out of the way with queen g three. Yeah, yeah, I gotta play a little quicker. <laughs> I know I've been saying that, but I do. I just need to. I do need to do it. Gonna castle queenside soon. Have a wonderful play here. Pushing my pawns forward. He's got this dude tonight. Okay, knight a5. Let's ask him some questions here. What does he want to do with this bishop? What is it gonna be? Bishop e7. Okay. All right, I'll let him trade. If he wants to trade the knight, he's welcome to. He can trade it whenever he wants. We got a fantastic pressure here. Is he going to play this pawn down the board? All right, let me play knight e4. Got these beautiful knights in the center. These are some golden knights. Queen is covering this now. And now if he plays b4, he does not attack my knight, so I can just play a4. If he plays b5, I can even play b4. All right, that's a very dubious decision because now his d file is extremely weak. Play knight f3. Bishop is coming to c3. How am I going to play? Oh, b4 is getting a bit annoying. I need to go for something on the king side. Let me play g5. All right, if he plays b4, I just play a4. Everything is still kept. Everything is kept under control here. If he plays queen a5, I play b3 with not a, a care in the world. Okay, b3. Now, uh, yeah, now there there is some danger afoot. I definitely misplayed this somewhat. Okay, I'll play bishops. I don't see anything still, though. Takes. I can take with the king. He plays knight e3. Yeah, this knight e3, he's going to win some material here. This is a little uncomfortable. I don't know, though. My pieces are so good at the end of the day. I need to just play quicker, honestly. I have 57 seconds. I can't be talking this much. Just throwing the pawns up the board. Um, all right, let's put let's put the knight here. H5, he still has massive problems, and this bishop is a monster here. This bishop, I, I would bet that this bishop is going to make be the decider here. This bishop just covers everything. Protects my king, protects his queen from that b6 square. This bishop is gorgeous. Uh, can I play b3 here? 
Let's just play, okay, a5. Let me play g6. If he takes on a4. Okay, um. Play a5. Knight f5, I play queen h3. I'm not so concerned about that. Knight f5, I can also play queen h2. Okay, bishop d5. Let's take. Knight f5, queen f2. I have to I have to dislodge this knight. Yeah, he can't do anything as long as my, my bishop is covering this. Alright, I'm taken. I'm chopping. Knight d6, attacking the rook. This is getting what a wacky position is this. Okay, here, queen g1. H7, huge threat in this position, h7. All right, now I think I'm just going to win on time if I just play a bit carefully here. Okay, got him on time. Definitely not the best game of sorts, but let's get to the game review. 65%, I'll take it. Really can't be everything. Um, let's start the review, boys. Let's start the review. Next key move. Yeah, no, I know knight c3 wasn't technically completely correct. Queen g3 is a mistake. Yeah, I have to be much better here. Yeah, knight takes e5 isn't even that much of a problem here, honestly. Yeah, because if takes, I don't need to take this way, right, and let the pin work. Even here I'm better, apparently. Yeah, I can. even here I'm going to get snacking. Or I have queen d4 and I'm attacking these two. But, but even in this position, though, back here, I can just take with the f-pawn. I should have done that. Here, okay, knight d4 was a mistake. Should I just play g5 here? h4, f5. What is the idea of f5, though? Let's just say they continue with their play. Ah, okay. Okay, that makes so much sense, right? Because the thing is, is this bishop is the one that's misplaced here. If I can just find a healthy place for my bishop, I'll dominate the king side. I'll also have fantastic pressure on this d-pawn, and the knight will become superfluous here on c4 because it's not going to be attacking anything. Bishop f1 is going to render it to be a little loose, in fact. A little loosey-goosey. Yeah, so knight d4, rook b8. Apparently here, do I still want to play f5? No, bishop e1. I need to justify this bishop. I need to get it out of the way, and knight c6 is already a threat. Queen e8, g5, and yeah, I'm playing for g6 potentially, or just h4, h5. All right, I'm not going to get to this. This is just, in this position here, how much time do we have? We had like a minute. This is what happened, guys. In an orthodox positions, you need to just be ready for it. Could I have played knight f6 here? Yeah, what a wacky position here, knight f6. If takes, of course, I'm mating. But, yeah, what a wacky position here. Completely wacky. I mean, this is, guys, this is what happens. You play the bird, you get these really unorthodox structures. No one is going to know what's going on, especially as the clock starts to dwindle. Okay, 28, 27. Let's go for it. All right, this is uh, another, another person who wanted to donate to the From Scambit Relief Fund. People love playing this. It's complete nonsense. I'll say it every single quest of 3,000. I'll say it every single time. You're not supposed to play this. It's just bad. You're literally just down a piece for nothing. Or not down a piece, sorry. You're down two central pawns for an F-pawn. And then he takes here. Yeah, I've played this position like 30 times at this point. It's honestly quite boring. I, I really hope that I can wipe this opening off the face of the earth. Because it just does not... It does not deserve to exist. It's just bad, and it's it's not fun for anyone, really. Like, if I win, it's just obvious that I should win. And if I lose, then I just lost to a clown opening. There's really no way to, uh, to do it. Yeah, I don't... He's probably realizing now that he's just lost. Okay, there we play, uh... He's going to threaten rook h2 here, but yeah, we just play knight d2 of rook h2, okay. I'm going to play king e2, I defend this, and he's just down a piece. I honestly, I'm just getting sick of it. I mean, as you can tell, I'm just getting a bit annoyed that people continue to play this nonsense. It's complete nonsense. It's garbage. It deserves to be in a dumpster fire. It is the dumpster fire of openings. Uh, to all those out there watching, if you want to annoy me, if you want to grind my gears, as well as just play an opening where you're just dead lost out of the opening, play the Fromm's Gambit. 
Because, uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to get a resignation very soon. Very, very soon. He literally has nothing. He has two pawns? No, he doesn't. Sorry, he has one pawn for the piece. He has one pawn for the piece. His pawns aren't even good. I'm just going to play rook f1 and get snacking on all the pawns. I like being respectful to my opponents, but at some point I'm just... I, I really want to just start, like, taunting them in the chat because it's... They need to learn their lesson and just stop playing this nonsense. It's unbelievable. This guy's 2,800. He's 2,800, and he still plays this nonsense. Um, alright, so what would be the move here? Let's start by taking... He's honestly, to his credit, he's doing his very best to try to keep the game complicated. But I think after, no, 95, 95 is still a bit tricky. Um, hmm. 95, he takes here. Ah, but no, no, he takes. Yeah, no, he takes, I can take on f5. Excuse me. Yeah, he takes, I just take on f5. And of course, this is winning. If he takes there, then I take here. Yeah, I'm... We're, there'll be a resignation soon. You can count on that. Yeah, because now the thing is, is, if queen h6 takes, we trade everything, he cannot play f6 here. I really hope this guy learned his lesson. Or if he wants, he can keep donating to the Fromm's Gambit Relief Fund. The Fromm's Gambit Free Elo Fund. We're going to have to come up with a good name for it, because it's it's just a terrible opening. Literally. I, I don't understand, like how someone can get so high rated and continue to play nonsense like this because it's literally like it's the worst opening in the world i would if we go to the game review it's going to say i was just winning pretty much by move 12. um yeah i mean somebody some 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 rascals out there playing the bird opening must be losing to this stuff because that's the only reason why anyone would keep playing this all right we'll just play king d2 here just get out of the way no tricks, I'm just going to play queen f4 next. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I can't understand it. Why would you continue, why would you choose to play an opening where you give up two central pawns for an f pawn? Okay, king c3. King c3, queen, oh, queen h3. Okay, I need to be a little bit careful here, but it's... No, this this really should just be over here. King c3, queen h3, I play king c4. No tricks. g3, I'm going to play... Okay, queen h1. Let me start snacking. It's time to get snacking. He's going to play queen c1 check. Okay, here... All right, of course I can play knight d7 and rook f7. Yeah, I gotta play. I just gotta play quickly, honestly. Um, let's play knight d7. Okay, I'll put my. Oh, this is simplest. Just queen e4. Just trade the queens and play knight c5. I should have also, honestly, I should have just tried to flag him there. He's down to so little time. Oh, okay, I should just be worried about stalemate here. Um, Alright, uh, yeah, so, yeah, if we look at the game review, I really want everyone at home to just make a note. Do not, play the Farms Gambit if you want to lose. Play the Farms Gambit against someone who knows what they're doing if you want to just get a losing position straight out of the opening. Alright, uh, apparently the game review has taken a while, but you could just take my word for it. That position was close to lost. I've gotten that position with Rook Takes H2 several times at this point. I don't understand it, honestly. I don't understand how a 2800 can play such a, such a silly game. You know, honestly, I, I should be in good spirits to see that opening because it's literally free elo, but it just, it upsets me. It really frustrates me. It means rather than rather than getting a good strategic battle, rather than getting a good strategic struggle, we're just getting a complete circus.
All right, it's 35 minutes. I'm gonna have another coffee. I get another. Okay, and we are back. Time for a new game. Playing a 2300. All right, we got a classic bird. That is supposed to be a mistake. Um, yeah, that is definitely supposed to be a mistake. Yeah, he just can't fight effectively for the e5 square here. I think my bishop goes to d3, and this is a healthy move. Uh, we play knight e5. We are not letting pu him push e5. If he plays knight e4, we can play knight c3. Another idea is knight e4. We can take and then snatch this pawn, but we got to do so carefully. Knight g8, okay. I don't know what that's about. If he plays f6, I'm playing queen h5. All right, I'm just going to take and take and... Oh, knight c6 would have been so much better. Why did I play knight c6? Oh, well, actually, knight c6, queen f8. But Man, knight c6 would have been nice, though, as well. Yeah, this is... Uh, this looks like it's time to resign here. I don't even think he's getting my bishop. I'm going to play queen h5. I'm airlifting that bishop out. I'm just going to take here, trade the queens, and then my bishop's... My bishops are going to scamper out. Yeah, he has nothing to do here. Knight is coming to b5, and then d4, and then c6. Okay. Going right back, I'm going to go to b5. This was a very clean game. Knight d4. 96. I could also take here. Yeah, taking would be fine, but let's play knight d4. This, this is a very simple position. Notice that, like, it's weird, right? My queen and bishop look strange, but they're just, they're defending each other. He's not going to be able to get it. Get it. He can't get that, that trap bishop. Uh, I will not be accepting a rematch, sir. You have a very low rating, and I'm trying to get to 3,000. Who is this guy? Emerald John. Oh, okay, cool. I have played against him before. I drew against him in Greece in 2011. Two minutes 50. E6. We're at 2800. We're back above. Okay, Queen C7. Bishop E3, A6. Are we going to get a line? G4. I also I have not seen that at all. I'm just going to play Knight E7. I don't know what to tell y'all. I, uh... <laughs> I gotta study some theory, man. I really gotta study the theory. I don't know what to do. It seems like he's, uh, he's wrestling with a kid. I assume that's one of his relatives, maybe a niece or nephew. But, uh, hopefully... Hopefully that kid is distracting him. Because I have no idea what, what I'm supposed to be doing here. What am I gonna do here? This is, how do I get this knight out? Let me play knight g6. This is some really wacky stuff. Uh, okay, we'll put the bishop on e7. Yeah, I, like, this is the thing, though. Like, literally, no one knows how to play these positions. White doesn't, black doesn't, so that's what I've been going for. I know this is definitely weird. It's probably a bit incorrect. It's so, these positions are so strange, guys, though. So it's... You know, pick your poison. Pick your poison. F5, I think I can take. I take and I play queen F2. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's see what, what he does here. Rook F8, a big threat. I think this bishop is lost here. His king is definitely worried. G4, bishop H4, another idea. Very dangerous position, right? If he plays rook g1, I check, and his king just starts going on the run. King e2, I play a5, and my bishop is going to lay siege to him over here. 
His pieces are so uncomfortable here. I think this definitely has to be worth it. I have some of the worst pawns. I have two pawns for the piece, but of course they're extremely ugly. Uh, okay, that's a good move. I could play queen h4 and at least take a draw here. Let's bully him around a bit. So queen h4. If I play g4... Okay, so I could play queen h2. I can always go back and forth if I want, but... Um, g4, bishop f4, g3... Is that winning or what? I think g4 is very... Let me try it. Let's see what happens. If bishop f4, I play g3. I think it's it's a complete mess there. Bishop f4, I have e5. That's a bigger thing. e5 traps the bishop. Um, it goes without saying, if I'm able to get my bishop to this diagonal, I should be winning. But the question is, how do I do it? Well, bishop e3. Alright, yeah, this is mate. Check. Mate. Very nice. No, whoa, look at that. He wanted a rematch. I should have, I, I should have taken the rematch, honestly. Well, 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 would you look at that, boys. I just, I was completely just, uh, I was completely winging it. I'm completely winging it here. I had no idea what was going on. Just winging it. E5 is another good move. 3,050, everybody. Y'all saw it first. I don't know why I'm tearing up. It's not like that was an emotional moment. Something's in the air here in Paraguay. Let me turn the air conditioner on. Hopefully it it deals with this. I am Snowflake. Who is this? Okay, no name. No name on his profile. 2807, though. We're getting up there. D4. Okay, F5. We haven't had a drib yet. Time to get a, some drib going. H4. Oh, I cannot remember this. I cannot remember this for the life of me. Maybe I'm supposed to play d6 first. For this exact reason of not giving h4 as much, uh, as much leeway. Okay, he takes. I cannot remember what to do here. I'll play knight f6. E5, yeah, we take him. I gotta look at these lines again. Yeah, I gotta look at them again. <laughs> Do I play knight c6 here? Yeah, I'm gonna try knight c6. I'm betting it's knight c6. I don't know. I really don't know, but I'm betting it. Takes. Oh, yeah, he's gonna get great pressure after d5, but okay, I think I, I'm sort of... I sort of shat the bet already with this. So, yeah, I just gotta go for it. It's unfortunate. But okay, actually, you know, d5 at the end of the world, at the end of the day, it's not it's not like his pieces can immediately use that square. So it's not as much of a problem as it would be in other positions. Let me take. If he takes on c6, I play queen f5 or queen e6 check. Okay, that can't be good. I'm going to throw in a check. I'm going to throw in a check. I take. Yeah, this should be fantastic for me. He takes. I play rook b8. This bishop is a monster here. He checks. Ooh, I gotta be a little careful. Gotta gotta dodge some bullets here. Uh. Okay, yeah, this is getting dangerous. Knight d4. Luckily, I think I, I'm covering everything, but... Yeah, this is getting very dangerous now. Knight d4. I have to keep this covered, so I have to play queen f7. He takes on a7. This is a complete mess now. He takes on a7. I think I play bishop d5. I'm attacking this. I'm attacking this. Bishop g7 could also work, but I, I really need to be careful here. Knight c6 is going to be a huge bummer. His king is marooned in the center, though. So bishop g7, knight c6, I castle. I think I have enough compensation there. Let's go for it. Time to dig in, boys. Knight c6. I can also even play queen d5 there. Okay, no, I could take, take, play queen d5, knight b8, and then queen d3, and I think I'm mating. I think that works. I really do. I think that works. Oh, no, wait. No, look at this. Takes. Takes, takes, queen d5. He plays queen d4. And he's hit. I can take his knight, but then he takes my rook. Let me castle first. Before anything else, I'll castle. Takes, takes. I think I have full compensation here. Queen a4. What is the plan here? All right. Um, already here, I could take him and play queen d5, and he plays queen d7. And I played there. I think that's winning. Alright, let, let's go for it. Takes. 
Knight, actually, knight e5 looks so much stronger here. Knight e5, he plays queen a8. Let me play... Let's start out with queen d5. Queen d5, I'm threatening queen g2, queen d3. Rook d1, I play queen g2, and I'm scooping up that mango on h1. Knight e5, knight f3, and knight d3 also a huge threat. I think I have huge compensation here. Ooh, rook d1. Rook d1 here. I forgot about rook d1, but okay. I think if I trade queens... Oh, this, yeah, this is unfortunate. I, I definitely botched this a bit. I had, I definitely had a win here. If I had just taken on b7 or played knight e5 first. But the problem was I, I didn't see that after takes, he takes with check. Taken here with the, with a threat. Alright, uh, let's play knight e5. Yeah, I like knight e5 first. I have knight e3 options. Knight c4 as well. I want to win this pawn sooner or later. Okay, I'm gonna t I have to take. Um, I gotta bring my, my pieces over. I'm gonna play c5. What is happening here? Yeah, okay, there. If he plays this. Bishop d5. Very, very wacky position here. a4, I have knight c6. I'm not sure how exactly he's going to move. Time is ticking. The clock is ticking. King e6, a5. King f6. Is he going to spot that I'm attacking this? And I'll play king e6, king d7. He can't attack this. Now, I'm... If I can win a4, I'm confident about my position. King c7. This is really wacky stuff. Look at this. a6, I play king b6. His bishop cannot help out, so it looks like sooner or later I should be able to win that pawn there. Um, let's slowly fix everything. Oh, he got me on time. I have to manage my time better. What a crazy game. Oh, what a crazy game. I should do a, I should look at a game review there. All right, server error. Let's just try to get a new one. Server error. Okay, 2,500. All right, another Fromm's Gambit free ELO fund. Bishop g4. What am I supposed to do against Bishop g4? e3. Yeah, we just take this way. That's like the only question in these positions. Just uh, like, which winning position do you go for? Just how, how do you... Wh which move are you just supposed to play first to get a winning position? Because if you can do that much, you're going to be winning. Yeah, I'm just going to play e4 next. Alright, e4. He wants to take, I'll take. Can I take with pawn? Taking with pawn honestly looks better. I'm covering the center a bit better. Bishop is coming out to g5, h4, g3. Bishop g5, queen d2. Alright. Queen is coming to b3. I have no idea what this guy is going for. Oh. oh, I just missed that. That's silly of me. Even here I should be better, but yeah, I, I can't believe I missed that. That was such a simple threat. All I needed to do was play bishop e3 there. I should still have an advantage, though, fortunately. This is a big threat here. 
Yeah, yeah, that's like the thing. That's the thing about this opening. It's so it's so unbelievably harmless and toothless that it just lulls me to sleep. It lulls me to sleep like a baby in a crib. Yeah, this this is very uncomfortable, right? It's I'm going to play E5, dislodge the knight, break through on F7. The game should be over fairly soon. Oh, okay, this sneaky guy. E5, he takes here. Sneaky stuff. Um... What is the way to handle this, though? Let me play rook E3. Yeah, rook E3 looks a little weird. Um, long term, I am going to play E5 still. I also have ideas of takes and knight D5. Queen e5? No, that can't work. Now I'm playing bishop g3 and e5, and also this pawn is hanging here. Alright, I'll take. I will snatch the pawn, sir. Fine, sir. If he plays knight, knight g4 actually would be interesting, but no takes. Okay, I could definitely take back with pawn, but rook looks better. Rook looks much better. I'm just going to take, play knight d5. Everything here is fantastic. Oh no, knight d5, I lose this pawn here. So let me just... um. Just play rook f2. Defending this. Yeah, this is, uh... I'm continuing to, uh... To botch this a bit. Okay, knight d5, he chucks. He chucks, I block. He could also take... Yeah, I have to play h4. Play g3. I, I feel my knight is still better here. I really want to punish this guy for playing such a ridiculous opening, but um, to do that I would have to win. We just trade off. My rook is going to get into the c-file. I play g4 and h5. Let's play h5 first. I'm fixing all of these these weak light squares here. King of 3, king e3, going to play d4 next. Let's play a4. Fix this pawn here. b5, I play rook c6. Attacking this. If he takes, I take. Alright. Oh, he can play rook a7. Okay, I really missed that. That's a really bad move. Yeah, I completely missed that. Um, I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm losing to this opening. I need to get in a better mindset against this opening because I just, I hate it so much. I really hate it. Like before, I have to give away the piece. It's a sad... It's a sad truth. Oh no, bishop e5. Bishop e5, okay. Alright, king f4, I'm st just going for something. On, a hope on a prayer here. Oh, my rook. Uh, he didn't fall for it. I wanted him to stall me. <laughs> Alright, he's still down on time, honestly. Anything can happen here. I'm just always making sure to put my... Oh, I got his rook. Alright. Definitely not a game well-deserved, but I'll, I'll take it.
I gotta do the game review though. I gotta I gotta look at what I did wrong there. I can't be losing to this opening that I'm calling the clown opening. It can't work. <laughs> Waiting on this game review. And the construction starts. Okay, here. So here, yeah, still much better than bishop g5. Just big mistake, of course. I just need to play bishop e3 here. All right, yeah, I just completely forgot. If I just pay attention to the simple threats. Okay, here we go. This guy's from, is that Turkmenistan or Uzbekistan? Uzbekistan, cool. Let's play D. Oh, D3, Knight D7. That could be a bit of a problem. We play Knight A3. I can always play Knight D3. <laughs> if he plays Knight D7, I play Knight D3. I remember looking at stuff like this. <laughs> knight, knight D7, Knight D3. Okay, we'll play Knight D5. Oh, that's a mistake. Well, now we get the, the good pawns. D4. Ooh, D4 is actually a bit uncomfortable. Uh, but I don't know, knight a4 takes, I play d3, this pawn is going to be lost sooner or later. I can play queen c1, queen takes e3. going to get this pawn on c5 as well. Yeah, what is going on here? Knight d5, I, sh I should be worse after knight d5. Um... It's not clear though. Knight takes actually, yeah. Knight takes f4. Queen takes e3. He's up a pawn, but this pawn is going to be lost sooner or later. These positions are not that clear. I'm going to have to look at this. I got to start doing these game reviews more. Okay, knight takes f4. Let's take on e3. What is the plan here? If he takes, I take. Yeah, structurally this is a structurally this is a disaster for him, but he is up a pawn. Rook e1. Such moves play themselves. If he plays e6, he kills the bishop. If he plays bishop e6, though, I play queen e5. Actually, in any case, I play queen e5. This, uh, yeah, this looks very comfortable for me still. His bishop is terrible. His bishop is complete garbage. Um, let me take this way. I'm keeping concrete against the rook and the, uh, the bishop. Okay, how am I going to play this? Uh, let's put the rook on a5. Attack this pawn. Knight comes to c5 soon. Knight b3, I can play knight d4. If e5, I have rook e1. f6, I'm going to play knight d4. Attack this. Yeah, there continue to be massive problems in this position for him. His bishop is finally getting out, but it looks like I'm getting... It looks like I'm snacking, though. I'm going to be honest. It does look like I'm snacking. Let's play h3, play against this bishop. Yeah, I think I misplayed this slightly. Um, I should have been much better than than this. But okay, king e3, rook f1. His pieces are still all, all downed up. Yeah, gonna play rook f1, knight d2, knight e4. Also knight a5, knight c6. an uncomfortable pawn. I don't want to have to trade my rook, though. Let me play rook a1. I'm going to play a4, a5. I'm going to lock this rook out. He should play rook a3, probably, but yeah, he's getting down on time. I think I'm just going to win on time here, honestly. Alright, and now the rook gets back. At some point, I'm going to need to play d4. d4 looks like the proper move. 
He could play rook b2 here. Okay, knight e4. I'm going to get my king in. Knight takes g5 might be very strong here sooner or later. King d2, king c3. He should put his rook on... No, his rook is getting trapped. Look, king c3, king b3. Wow. Super strategic chess here. I hope y'all are taking notes at home. Yeah, that was not good. I'm just taking every single pawn, and I still trapped the rook. <laughs> the rook is still trapped. <laughs> oh, what a good game. All right, we're back. We're back. Sorry, that was a long wait. I was up out of my seat. All right, d4, f5. Okay, I don't know why I spent 10 seconds on that, but let's go. Da, 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 da. Queen e8. We got the classic stuff. d5, knight a6. Rook b1. Uh, c, yeah, we play c6 here. This is the main, main, main line. I have not looked at this in ages. I'm going to have to review this. C seven. Yeah, the idea is like you you play either knight c seven or knight c five depending on the situation. Playing very lucky man. Is that Malaysia? Singapore. Interesting. I didn't realize Singapore has the crescent on its flag. Normally the crescent is just for uh, Muslim majority countries. Maybe Singapore is Muslim majority. Let me know in the comments if uh, if I'm correct and assume that Queen a four. Queen a4 can't be good. I play knight c5. Queen a3. Let's play e5. Let's push him back, boys. We're pushing him back. Um, knight b7. <laughs> you know what? Just for the hell of it, I'll play knight b What a ridiculous move, knight b7. But it defends the pawn. It defends... <laughs> it defends the pawn. It, okay, an e4. And yeah, the, the rook... Or sorry, no. This bishop is complete garbage now. You can play bishop f4. Oh, c5. I don't want to do that to my knight. This is this is getting a little uncomfortable. He can take here. He can take here, but... Yeah, why didn't I play bishop e6? Bishop e6 was the proper move. I would bet, yeah, when we look at this in the game review, it's going to say bishop e6. But anyway, okay, I play queen f7. He's still playing down a bishop at the end of the day. It's not... It's not that bad. It's bad, but it's not it's not terrible. I'm down two pawns, though. Yikes. But okay, I'm down two pawns. Let's just try to to, to struggle to a draw. Um, can I play rook c7 here? I'll take. I'll ruin his structure here. Yeah, it is after knight g4. I think my bishop is just so much better than his. I feel I should be able to get to a draw here. Play knight e5, attack this queen. If he ch he could check and win a third pawn here, but I don't know. Like it's really actually yeah, queen f8. If he trades queens, I'll play king takes. I think I think this is okay. I think my knight is yeah, my knight is getting to the party way too quickly. I, if I can net one pawn, I'm gonna have fantastic drawing chances. Place f3. All right, I'm going to okay. I think I'll play e3 here. If he takes, I play bishop d4, and he's stuck still. Yeah, his knight might be stuck forever now. Knight b4. If he takes, I play bishop d4. If he plays a4... I don't know. How is he going to win this? His knight is completely stuck here. I'm going to... Yeah, the, this is... What a wacky position. What a completely wacky position. I'm down two pawns here. But after bishop d4, literally, how is he going to get out? His knight can never get out. Even if he brings his king here to attack the pawn, I play knight c2 and knight e1. Uh, let's play a5. Secure some things. Okay, I'm going to play knight c2. If he plays king f3, that's mate. <laughs> if he plays king f3, that's mate. That's mate, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's mate. What a position. 
What a position. He's up two pawns. He's up two pawns, but okay, 91. 91, let's play h6. I'm just waiting him out. I want to see what he does. I'm going to play knight c2 and play knight a I want to grab this pawn, but I'm waiting for the right moment. He's doing that. I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, now I'm now I should be winning. Okay, King H five. Yeah, King H five. He's gonna he's gonna be taking this pawn, but that's gonna take forever to push. Literally, like look at that. His king is gonna be stuck in front of the pawn here. So I can get snacking on all these other goodies. I'm gonna take this one next. Yeah, that's a good move. Now uh, knight c one. He plays bishop f three and he defends things. But okay, uh, here. Yeah, let's start with knight c1, bishop f3, king g7. He's getting pushed back. Um, how do I attack this pawn next? Let me play knight b3, knight c5. He could do that. I play knight b3. He still can't, he still can't do this because of this. Wow, oh no. Oh, he got me. Okay, but uh, luckily... I need to just premeditate him. Um, King e6, King f, f6. Get the bishop far away for no knight forks. We got him, boys. I can't believe he bamboozled me. What an insane position that was. This is just such an insane position. Where was it? It was right back here. Look at this. Down two pawns, but his his knight is completely, completely dominated. Such an insane position. Such a completely wild position. <laughs> this is so crazy. This is so crazy. All right, anyway, yeah, let's, let me get another one. Okay, very lucky man. We're at 2815, this is a new high. New all-time high here. Play c4. Knight c3. What am I supposed to do here? I think I'm supposed to play bishop c4 and attack this. I'm going to have to double check this, but I think this is the way to play it. Knight e5. We put the queen on b3 and we get him to play e6. Yeah, this is it. Now I'm going to play a4 and a5. Make sure to dominate them anywhere. Anywhere, anyhow. Okay, knight d7. That's a bit uncomfortable for me, honestly. If I... Uh... Yeah, I'm wondering like what I was supposed to do here. Maybe I'm just supposed to move my knight back to f3. Yeah, these uh these don't agree. The knight should be on c6 here. Let me play a5. Well, a5 he plays b5. I'm gonna castle here. I need to just play e4 and e5. Let's play d3, e4. His knight is still straight garbage here. Look at that. The knight should be on c6 to i b4 and d4. Bishop e3. Alright, we'll put the rook. Where is my rook gonna go? I'm gonna put the rook on e1. f5 or e5 could become very serious. e5 is a very tense move, right? f5. f5 might also work. e5, knight g4, my bishop goes back. Yeah, I think ultimately e5 has to be better. Both of these are interesting, though. I need to remember to look at the game review to, to see what happens here. Okay, knight d5, uh, that cannot be good. I'm just going to take. So, to, oh, oh, so look at it. Takes, 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 takes. And then he's going to hit me with knight takes e5. Yeah, that's going to be uncomfortable. Let me take this way. Play d4, and I have this fantastic pawn phalanx. This is supposed to be like a winning kingside majority here. When you have, when you have five on four, or I guess four on three, but with the pawn on e5 like this, it's supposed to be comparatively winning. 
Uh, okay, we just take and then play f5. Knight e5, f5, yeah. This is going to be bad. This is looking bad, guys. For him, not for us. For his, us, it's looking fantastic. They got a doo-doo bishop. Bishop f6 here. If he takes, we take with the pawn. Um, all right. How am I going to do this? I got to deal with this pawn sooner or later. Let me play b4. I'm chewing on my words, if that's even an expression. B4, yeah, the idea is now... Okay, well, yeah, now I, I never need to worry about his queen side majority. My knight is perfect here. This pawn is going to be very weak, long term. Uh, how does my queen attack this, though? Let me play... Let me play g3. Queen is coming to g2. Alright, rook... Uh, rook e2, slowly doubling up. Very uncomfortable position here. Yeah, now I can just take and invade on f6. Oh, he's attacking this. Let me play rook f4 first, kick the queen out. Then I'm going to chop and play rook f6. Okay, he's taking that. Oh, and now I take and... Yeah, this is over. This is completely over. This is a real strategic masterpiece, if I may say so. I'm not I'm not acting like I'm playing like Capablanca or anything. I, it's just because I've studied these positions so much, but um, this is a real... This is a real whitewash. Um, okay, bishop f5, we gotta throw this pawn forward. I do need to watch out for this stuff. His, there is still a window open into my, my king's position here. Yeah, h5 is gonna be very dangerous. Uh, let me just move the rook back a little. I'm gonna play rook g2 and h5. I do need to play quicker, obviously. Even a knight versus bishop ending might be winning here because my knight is just on such a strong position. It's holding back this pawn. It's pressuring this. And his bishop is otherwise useless. I have to play really quickly, though. Gonna play uh, queen h6 and h5. Knight e2 f4 is looking good. Yeah, why don't I do that? Why don't I play rook f2 and then just transfer the knight? King is coming in. Yeah, now he has no diagonal piece to enter the window. King is going to h. This is unbelievably uncomfortable. Oh, he can do that? Let me go back. Um, Alright, knight d1, knight e3. Gotta play super quick here. I'm gonna go for mate now. That was a mistake on his part. Is he gonna take? I'm checking. I'm attacking this bishop. He's in dire straits here. Bishop f7, I play e6. Um, alright, rook c7. Ooh, okay. Yeah, rook c7, he plays rook c4. Oh, man, I can't believe he got me on time. I had a fantastic position there. Ah, oh, that one is painful. All right, we're back. 28-11, let's go. Let's see this, d4, f5. Yep, a lot of people started with king pawn, and now they're only playing d4. h4, okay, knight c6. Okay, this is looking very dangerous. Maybe I made a mistake here. Yikes. This is this is honestly looking like a disaster. Um, play e6. He takes. I play king d7. <laughs> this is looking like a complete mess. I mean, the only thing that is uh, comforting here is I know that the bishop move literally help, did not help him at all. 
And so to that end, perhaps this should be okay. I really don't know though. This this is just a complete mess. D5 could be very strong here. Because takes knight f7, then I can't play queen e8 because he takes on f5 with check. <sighs> really wacky stuff here. Yeah, I need to just always prioritize my time, don't I? Yeah, that last game was one of the few I've ever lost with the bird. And the position was great there. Okay, he's taken... He's taken there. He already gave up a rook, though, right? I don't need to. Uh, I don't need to immediately take back any of the material. But okay, takes d five. <sighs> takes d five. I take. Oh, that is. This is getting really messy. I think I can take. I real. I don't know. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I'm taken. Uh, this is getting really risky, right? Queen f seven, bishop e six. Uh oh. Yeah, I think I'm losing here. I need to stop his queen from getting in. Yeah, I, I messed this one up. I got I messed this up, guys. Uh, 97. I, I just need to try desperately to hold on here, but it, this has to be losing. I gotta look up this H4 stuff. This H4 stuff is so annoying. This H4, H5. Funny business. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah, knight a4 is just the end of the game. I don't really know. I don't know how I could ever stop it. Oh, b4 is going to be made. Yeah, all right. I got to look at the game review. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, that was terrible. Um... That was a big mistake here. Knight C okay, knight c6 is a mistake. What do I need to play here? e6. h5. And we yeah, we take, take, take. And now, of course, obviously, in this position, knight g5. We can just play queen f6. Okay. Okay, yeah. This is just something, you know, you lose to it once. You lose to it really badly. And then you just move forward from it. And you hope to get some... Uh, some lessons from it. Okay, anonymous. Let's play c5. Only 2440. Let's try to get a win here. Play d5 soon. f4, d5, very principled now, d5. Um, I like c4. Before allowing him to play d4, we're, we're guaranteeing that some pawns are going to get exchanged here. Okay, b5, look at that. Knight takes, I have queen b6. Check. Check to your king, sir. d4, I can just take. And, you know, I got queen b6, bishop c5 stuff. This looks like it's a decent French. Check. I dominate the d4 score, which is quite important here. Yeah, at the end of the day, f4 is really hit or miss, right? Because it is blocking the bishop. It's helping and securing the e5 pawn, but it is really hurting this bishop here. So his pieces are a bit tangled up here. I should play castles. f5. f5 is an interesting move. I could, of course, chomp the pawn, but no. Chomping would be very, very dubious. Getting Going snacking would be dubious in this type of situation here. Uh, let me play knight d... F okay, yeah, I'll just castle here. If he takes... Things are a little hectic. I think I'm okay, though. f6 would be very interesting. Yeah, this guy is good. I'll take. <laughs> Things are getting very tense here. Uh, t -t 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 if I take that... If, if I take objectively, that's extremely dangerous. I think I need to reroute my knight. I'll play king h8 here. 
Yeah, I, th I was. Th yeah, I should be losing here. Honestly, this this position, something has gone terribly wrong here. I thought that this was like a normal French, but uh, I'm starting to realize it is not a normal French. This is a, a terrible version of the French. This is a version of the French in which I'm dead lost if he plays correctly. Queen h5. Okay, luckily I can take here, and I think I'm still I'm surviving for the moment. Just barely for the moment I'm surviving. I'm fine with giving away material if I can just survive. If he takes with bishop, I play bishop f8, and everything is under control. Again, no matter what, we're losing here, but we just want to keep everything... You know, keep our losses at a minimum. Queen takes, okay, knight g6. h4. Ooh. Yeah, this is looking very uncomfortable. Um, bishop e3 is interesting, but no, bishop e3, I'm just losing a piece. All right, I'm just going to give... I'm going to go down a full rook here. Hopefully this... Uh, <laughs> bishop g7. Oh, this is, this is a, a, just a completely awful position here. <laughs> I'm losing like a thousand different ways here. Yeah, this serves me right. I gotta do a game review of this. He's down to a minute 15, though. You know, really, anything can happen. A minute 15, anything can happen. A minute 5. Bishop d4, gotta poke his queen out. Just hoping on a prayer for some type of trick here. This, this should be completely lost. Offer a draw. I'll give him one last chance. One last chance at freedom. What? Oh, okay, he's going that way. Yeah, this is still a still completely hopeless position. <laughs> 40 seconds, though. You know, 40 seconds... Uh... Thirty thirty five seconds. We're watching that clock that clock dwindle. Queen e three, queen f four. Okay, takes takes. He should play queen f four. Yeah, just trade the queens. Uh, but even so, here. I don't know. <laughs> this is not the way anyone wants to play. But it's honestly, you have to play this way though. Sometime b three. Checks here, bishop e2. I'm literally, I'm just looking at the clock. That is literally the only thing I'm doing here. Um... Oh, I almost got I almost got him. <laughs> I almost got him. <sighs> I'm just literally like just watching that clock tick and talk. Uh okay, yeah, this is just about to be a disaster here. We're so close. We're so close. Oh. That's a really painful loss. We're right back to where we started. I got up to like 28-15 and it's been a stretch of like three three bad games. Okay, wait, I wanna look I wanna look at the game review though. I wanna look at the game review. Um Alright, all of this is fine. Knight d7 is a mistake. Interesting. What am I supposed to do here? Yeah, no, this is a... Uh, honestly, yeah, this is a bit... This looks like a slightly poor version of the, the French defense. Maybe d4 is better here? Is that the best move? Could it be knight... No, it can't be knight e4. Oh, I guess it's just knight g8 to e7 to f5. All right. 
Yeah, after this. Wow, I'm just much worse here. I was just convincing myself that this was good. You know, we just we 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 make up delusions for ourselves, and then we just start living in these these uh, these illusions. We get so convinced of the real the way we see reality that we can't accept it when the truth beats us over the head. I'll put my bishop here. I'm waiting. Bishop b5, okay. Gonna gonna get snacking. He should play rook c8 or queen c7 here to avoid. Okay, he's not avoiding it, so castles. Yeah, this is fantastic now. This is a great position. Knight e5 is gonna come like a, a bolt from the blue here. Hits c6, threatens g4. We also got d3, knight d2. Very uncomfortable position for him. Um, of course I can play g4, but I'm waiting for him to castle first. I want to... There are some lines where they can castle queenside. That should not work. The, uh, there's no way that should work here. Let me take on c6. e4 also looks good. Yeah, I like e4 more because the idea here is that there's going to be a rook hanging at the end here. There's going to be a rook hanging there, and things are going to get very uncomfortable. If he takes, I take here. Or even knight c4. Yeah, knight c4 just ruins his structure. Look at that. This hanging, this hanging, this hanging. If he takes, I take, and he just, he has tremendously ugly pawns there. I could have also taken on f7, but I think that allows his queen to get closer to the action. I feel it's much better to leave his queen more dislocated in this manner. Bishop g4. Alright, let's take. Let's play e5, hitting this, hitting this. He can take my queen, I'm going to take his queen. And, uh, yeah, if his queen moves, I just, uh... Oh, he could move his queen, honestly. I didn't realize that. Yeah, he could move his queen. But even so, I think, uh... I think I should be better here, but... Yeah, perhaps I misplayed this a little. Bishop f5, I just chop and I play e6, though. This is still unbelievably uncomfortable. His dark scores are completely... Completely... Okay, this is over. That has to be the end of the game. He has to castle queenside here and just hope for something, but it's... No, he's just down a full piece there. He's losing a full rook. Like, his best move here is rook g8, but then, uh... Then takes... Let's put the bishop on e5. Let's install this bad boy here. Queen a5. All right, knight f3. And just make some trades. A very simple position here. Takes, takes. Bishop f4, knight e5. This is a terrible position for them. Bishop f4, knight e5, attacks. Hmm. Knight f3, knight e5. Yeah, ultimately, like the extra, the two pieces versus rook here, they just completely dominate. There's no, re I do not want to take there, right? And if I take there, I open things up. Much better just to keep everything closed and lay siege to the the weaknesses. Oh, I have... Oh, I have... Just, yeah. This is over. Alright. Um, nice. That was a good win. That was a very clean game. Let me look at the game review. I'm interested by that. Uh, what? How should I have met that? 85.5. Definitely not bad for how complicated it was. Yo, knight c4... This was the move, boys! This was the best move! Dude, come on, that has to be brilliant. Did they give me a brilliant move for that? Could we see the, the review? That has to be brilliant. Knight EC4 is a brilliant move. They gave... Come on, Rook takes F5 is not brilliant, chess.com. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is easy. It's takes E6. We see the bishop attack in the mango. Knight EC4. This is the perfect move. This is the one piece... That's hanging. I want to just ruin their structure here with something like d takes c4, bishop takes f6. Okay, and also I'm winning material here. I didn't even realize this, but my idea was that even if I take on f5, this is still just so much better because look at these, look at these trash pawns here. My knight is going to get a great score on c4. Chess.com. I I have we have to have a talk about this this system. Knight e c4. That is the brilliant move. Rook takes f5. This is a basic tactic. This is a baby tactic here. All right, anyway, back up to 2789. Let's get going. Let's get it, guys. 
GM Yardard is his name. Eric LeBron. I've never heard of that. Never heard of this guy. Anyway, we're getting the Dutch. Um. Okay, B3, Knight F. I think we play E6 here, Queen E7, D6. The, the important thing is we do not want to allow Knight F4 and D5 here. I'm going to play knight c6 and e5 next. I got to review all of these lines. Yeah, I need to do so much. Uh, I've already read those books by Marin twice on the Dutch, but I need to. Evidently, I need to review them a third time. Okay, can I play e5 here? I think if takes. Yeah, this has to be fine. Takes. E5, the knight is very, very weak here. This is the big problem. He's worse now. And the knight cannot get out. That's a really important thing. If the knight could just come to a normal square, then it would be okay. But no, the knight has literally nowhere good to go. Uh, okay, if I take, take. Yeah, let me just take. Let's just chop, chop. Okay, if I take on f1, he takes... I think it's better just to take here. He could take here. I don't think I could really be worried about that position, though. Um. Alright, he's going to take here. I must be better, though. Queen takes f1, I play queen e4. I have a lot of pressure here. Queen e4, c4, let's play queen c2. Let's start eyeing... This weakness on b2. If he plays rook b1, I snatch on f2. Yeah, this is very uncomfortable. Look at that. The bishop is just terrible here. Bishop a3, I have e4. Yeah, this is very uncomfortable. Okay, well, we're going to we're gonna get snacking. It's time to get snacking, boys. Takes. Should I take a second pawn? I really don't see the problem with it. If I take the second pawn, he plays queen d2. Is it good to take the second pawn here? I guess so. Yeah, let's just go for it. If he plays queen d2, I can play h6. Not a problem here. All right, nice. 2306, let's get the win. Classic setup. All right, this knight should be bad here. Got a very good good bird on her hands. Knight c. Th oh, should I play knight c three or c f uh, c four? Looks better. There's so much pressure here. Knight c three. This looks very very comfortable for me. I have big pressure here of taking and taking. I do need to watch out for this though, of course. It might be better just to take and uh, just be happy with that. He has a really big weakness there. Yeah, maybe take sh is not the, the right idea. Let me just play bishop a3, bishop d6. Just drill the bishop in. Drill, baby drill. Yeah, this is looking fantastic. I'm just gonna, I, I'm gonna play rook c1. Rook c1 to really eye this weakness, and then take and play c takes d5 with fantastic pressure. The fact that I've di diverted his rook from this e8 square means I'm also going to have tactics on this f pawn. If he plays f6, I'm just happy to trade. Uh, okay, on the one hand, I could take here and have fantastic pressure there, but... Oh, this is this is really hit or I think this is better. His dark scores are going to be way too weak here. I play b4? Yeah, b4, he can't take here. I'm just going to play c5 next with a really healthy structure here. And this knight is complete trash here. It, he's probably going to play f5 sooner or later just to, to, to get some space. But at the same time, his knight is never... His knight and bishop are never going to agree with the structure. I could also play b5 and c5. Yeah, that could also be uncomfortable because his, his knight is in no position to target this e pawn. I'm always hesitant to do this and take back with d because of the weakness created on e5, but if his knight can never get to d7 or c6, then it's not a problem. My queen will just occupy d4 in a very healthy manner. All right, let's play c5 here. 
Uh, okay, I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm doing it this way. I think this is much better. A4 and B5, huge threat. Queen is coming to D4. Let's play A4 first, just to stop any Knight B5 funny business. Queen D4. Gonna reroute my bishop back. Now the the position. The entire black setup here hinges on the fact that he stops me from playing b5. If I play b5, he's getting steamrolled. He needs to play queen d7 and just really dig in. Queen d7, rook b7. Yeah, he has to play queen d7 here. Queen g5, that is uh, probably not going to work. Maybe I'm misunderstanding, but yeah, b5... Very serious stuff here with b5. Let me... Should I push his queen back? Play bishop d3. I do need to make sure that I'm not blundering anything here. Um, yeah, if my knight could get into e4, that would be the end of the game. Play rook b3. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna double up with rook b1. This mic gets in the way of me being able to see the board sometimes. Alright, B1. Queen E8. Okay, yeah, how am I going to break through here? If I play B5, takes, takes, takes. You could take on a4, honestly. I'm not... Oh, this is this is really tricky. Maybe I have to play rook a3 here. Yeah, let's play rook a3. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch back to the king side here. I need to get this pawn forward. We need to create a second weakness here. For the moment, he's able. he's been able to, to keep everything under lock and key. But once this pawn gets to h6, things are going to get very uncomfortable. Queen f4 here. Yeah, h6. Now there, there are going to be new weaknesses here. Queen f6 is becoming a big threat. Um, okay, queen f6, knight e8, though, for the moment, so this doesn't work just yet. Um, let me play... Uh, where should my bishop go? i put my bishop on d3. If he plays queen f8, I just play queen f4. Knight e2. My knight is slowly getting around... Oh, he took. Okay, I need to, I need to just hurry up. I need to just mate the guy. I can't really... There must be some win here. There must be several wins here. Like in this position, with the rook coming to g3. Yeah, there's there's way too much here. Guys, there's just... Uh, there's no way he's going to be able to hold on here. Um, Okay, knight. Did I put my rook on the right score? Maybe my rook needs to break through here. Okay, uh... Queen g3, knight h5. He could take on c5. He could take three pawns here, but I think... Yeah, where is the win here? There must... Okay, I'm just going to take here. I literally lost. I'm lost, but luckily, though, I think I'm going to flag him. All right. Yeah, that guy defended insanely well. Um, I'm really glad, though, that didn't tank the rating. That could have been a really terrible loss. I just needed to, to play quickly. Playing the Sherman variation from Israel. Interesting. I've never heard of the Sherman variation. Oh, I'm not supposed to take. Yeah, taking now his knight has a good score on c6. That was unnecessary. Um, oh, I could have taken here. Yeah, that was silly of me. Taking would have been good. Taking with bishop c4. Let's take. Yeah, if takes, I play queen b3. I'm netting some material. e6. I guess he can play e6, but knight c4. Okay, snatching a pawn. Very nice pawn there. I'm the castle. Yeah, he's playing for e5, as he should. But e5, I play knight d6. My knight's coming back. He's back on the prowl. Man, I am so hungry. 
Playing 2800s on chess.com really like gives you a, an enormous appetite. F5. F5 could be interesting here. Let me play... Okay, yeah, bishop d2. F5 I can still chop on c8 and get my knight out alive. Maybe I can't, honestly. F5, knight c8, f takes. I think I'm losing. But I'm going to get a lot of pawns, though, at the very least. Yeah, if I'm getting a lot of pawns, it's okay. I just got to play quickly. Let's play rook c1 here. Did he play knight d4? Or no, knight d4, I trade on c8. His knight is a, a bit uncomfortable here at the moment. Uh, okay, that's a good move. I missed that completely. Let's play queen b3. I'm going to just double up. His knight is still a bit loose here. Let's play rook c... Uh... How am I going to get my... If I could double my rooks, I, I might have something here. I'm just going to try to play play quickly and flag this guy, if I'm being honest. Bishop d2. He plays knight d5. We're playing queen a3, attacking this. Just I'm, I'm, my, my eyes are on the clock. i got to just flag this guy, if you know what I mean. Um, queen b3. We're just playing for the pin. h5. Pawn goes down the board. I'm not really sure if I should be worried. I'm going to play queen d1. I'm going to switch over this way. Just continuing to have my eyes on the clock. Ooh, I have f5. f5, yeah. I should have played that sooner. Yeah, f5 doesn't work just yet. Let me play uh, queen d1. I'm going to play f5 next. Hopefully it works. Okay, now it's even better. Now it's the best of the bunch. Takes, takes. Oh, he takes there. Ugh. <laughs> Yikes. This position is getting very ugly. But okay, his rook is still more ruined. This is still... You know, as long as we can keep the game complicated, right? That's what we need. If we just keep the game complicated... If he takes... No, he can't take everything here. And there's... This is just a really wacky position, honestly. This is... He should be winning here, but it's... With one minute on the clock, it's really not that simple. H... Okay, if I play... I need to create lift for my king, so I have to play h3. His queen can get in. His queen gets in, but... Okay, finally. H4. H4 here. Let's play... Uh, play king h1. Get out of the way. Queen g3, I have queen f1. Completely wacky position here. Alright, queen f1 anyway. We're going for it. Rook f7. I'm also attacking this. What is going on here? Okay, knight takes. No, that can't be good. Takes. Okay, I got the rook. This is what it's all about. This is NBA basketball. Takes. I gotta. I gotta still be very careful though. My dark scores are extremely weak, but okay, we're gonna check. Just net the the bishop. Oh, we net the bishop. He nets the, the rook. All right, I'll take it though. That's okay. I can take this, and I'm gonna take everything. I'm taking the whole house on a silver platter. I'm taking this pawn. He could take here, and I'm gonna check, and then take this last one. I'm going to hide right back in the hole. Queen d6, and now g3, and my queen covers this. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? That is beautiful. Now my queen just needs to cover this angle. Yeah, my queen covers this angle, and there's nothing. He can't do anything here. Okay, let's, uh, let's start with queen g2. Let's push his queen around. Um... Yeah, okay, so of course this should be winning, but it is still very, very tricky. Queen c2. Alright, finally. Ooh, I can't... 
I can't make a queen there because of the stalemate. All right, that was a good win. What what time is it? I guess we have time for one more game. Yeah, I wanted this to be a two hour. Twenty eight oh one. Okay, let me try to. Let's make these last ten minutes count. What a wacky game that was, though. Just so many of these games are purely decided by just trying to flag your opponent. Just playing really quick, quick tricky chess. Someone sent me a trophy saying, let's be friends. Thanks, man. Okay, 2,500, but he's an IM. This could be a good player. C3. Oh, C3, I always make this mistake. I always make this mistake. All right, but I'll play D5, actually. It's not that bad. It's not that much of a problem. It's a little bit worse for me. H6, G5. He's going to play Bishop E5. Let's play E6. I, yeah, I don't think this is that much to worry about, honestly. This is a very strange position. I'm, that must be my most common expression here. We get so many weird, unorthodox style positions. Uh, okay, let me take with the queen. I got that score under control. Bishop d7 hangs this pawn, so I first should play rook b8, but long term my bishop is going to get out. Now he really wants to play f4, so it's time to play f4. Okay, takes, takes. Knight d3. Um... E5 looks very interesting. Yeah, let's go for it. E5. My bishops are going to get open. Perhaps I'm going to be down a pawn, but my bishops are going to light the board on fire. Queen G6 now looks very scary, because if he takes on F4, I take, and then I play bishop H3. I think I'm winning there. I'm not sure I think, I think I'm winning, though. Very wacky stuff here. Knight B4. Look at that. What type of madness is that? Let me take on e5 and push f3. We're pushing for it, baby. f3. Okay, f3, yeah. Very uncomfortable position now. Bishop e6. Should I play bishop e6 here? Yeah, bishop e6 looks super strong. Very uncomfortable. Tons of discomfort in his position here. Queen d3 a threat, queen f7 a threat. I'm going to go with queen d... No, queen f7 is better, because queen d3, he can play knight f4 and hit my my uh, my queen back. But no, actually, what am I talking about? Queen d3, I'm hitting both of these. I think he's just losing here. Yeah, this looks losing. c4, I can get snacking. I got snacking. Queen g5, get the queen out. The queen all nice and safe. He's still playing down a piece as well, so he's he's now down two pieces effectively. Queen g6. These are a little bit uncomfortable, but I don't think it's the end of the world really. He takes on c7. Um, let's just drop the bishop. Oh, I could take here. Let me, yeah, I'm gonna take. Draw my bishop into e2. Really nice position here. Um, Ooh, look at this. I can take and then I make another queen. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm about to get snacking. This is fresh, fresh snacking here. All right. 2804, I think that's where I ended last time. Um, yeah, we're gonna keep going though. I think, yeah, I have time for one more game. Let's try to end it on a new high. Give me a 2800, come on. Give me a 20, okay, 2300. I still got to finish strong. This could literally, a loss here could really spoil everything. I'm supposed to, I forget what I'm supposed to do here. I think I'm supposed to play knight f6. Knight c6 and bishop e7. e5, we play knight d5. d5, e5, and knight d7. 
I gotta review these lines as well. Lots of theory. Lots and lots and lots of theory, evidently, that I need to review. Queen c7. This pawn is under a little bit of a, a problem here. He should play a4 to stop me. If he lets me push my pawns, there could be trouble. The problem with a4 is that then I play knight b4. Okay, no, this is fantastic now. We're opening things up. We got Kraken. All right, I'm going to play b5. There's no need to open the rook just yet. I'm going to play b4 next. All right, he, uh, he wants to distract this pawn to finally get his knight into e4. This is really wacky stuff here. Hmm. Knight a5? I'm going to play knight a5. I don't know what's going to happen here. This looks like it's just a complete can of worms at the moment. Um, but the idea is that then I can take with my bishop. I just keep better control over the center, especially this e4 score where he wants to airlift his knight in. I really, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen here. But, um, so I kept my d-pawn on the board. That seems like a major accomplishment. We have two weak pawns here. They're both a bit stranded. I, I would assume I'm better here, though. Likely both of these are going to be lost, and when that happens, he's going to be left with a really weak a-pawn. All right, uh, let's play queen b6. He takes on b3, and I'm going to play d5. I could also play rook a5. Yeah, d4, knight d2. d4, knight d2, I don't really have any way to, to attack him. Let's play rook. Yeah, d4, knight d2, I don't have anything. Let me play rook a5. d4, I play c4. I'm hunting this pawn down ASAP. Glacier Gambit. What is he doing? <laughs> he just gave me a rook. All right, 28. I only get a single point for that? Are you kidding me, chess.com? Chess.com, come on. I deserve more than a point for that for that game. Um, all right, we're going to end here. 28.05. 28.05. This is a new high for the grind to 3,000. Um, let me... I want to look at my archive for a second. So all of these games I played today... So look at this. I want to look... I want to just do a recap. I won this game as white. This game as white. This game as white. I won this game as white. Why? I got four whites in a row, apparently. I lost... I lost one game with white. Yeah, I lost a very lucky man, but overall, how many games did I win with white? One, two, three, four... Five, six. I lose one. So six, six and one, seven and one, eight and one, nine and one. Uh, yeah. So ultimately, I know like uh, the the black openings we need to work on. It seems like I'm losing the majority of my games as black here. I lost uh, three. I lost three games as black, and only one with white. Y'all can do the math, okay? Uh, I'm playing very strong opponents. Bird opening is completely smashing everyone. Scoring 90% with the bird today. And, uh, yeah, a few of those games were a bit messy, but I was also... The, the game that I lost with the bird, I was winning, though, if y'all remember. So, hope you enjoyed this. We got a bit closer. 28.05. We're back in the 2800s. I'm going to review the time on of... I'm going to review the Dutch, especially these H4 lines. That H4 line cost me a really important game. And yeah, looking forward to seeing you guys at the next one. Thanks.